it's possible to save some drafting time. If you want to put some patterning like the one we see here, all you need to do is draw a polyline around the area to be patterned, and then you can go to GCAT Plus and pick pattern ground cover. doesn't have to be ground cover. Uh, this could be mass planting. The prompt says pick the symbol that you want to use. Now select a boundary, a closed boundary area, which I've done. The next prompt says input the distance. I'll type in 500 for the distance. And the patterning angle 135 is the angle of uh, that line there. And in goes the pattern. Now we're nearly there. A little bit more to fill in. Let's zoom in a little. And we'll just do this row down through there. Right click drafting settings and go to polar tracking. Put the enable distance step on and pick the increment angle at 45 and then we'll select and copy. So I'll zoom in a little so you can see what's happening. When I click in the middle there I can just move down at 45 degrees and I'm copying quite quickly in whoops in that line. I missed one there but you can easily fix that particular one up. So you can see I'm quickly working my way uh, through there and it's just be a matter of moving that particular one into position. But because I've got polar tracking on, it's a little difficult to move at the moment. I need to take tracking off and then I can pick it and then I can do my fine tuning and move it into position. So can you see you can save a bit of drafting time by using that patterning tool.